Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mighty Number no. 9. We have just completed all the Mighties, and we're introduced to the prison and the robot factory as some of the final levels of the game. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do the Vermilion Destroyer, which is one of the DLCs of the game, which I think is Ray. I think is the name of this particular character. Who is this? Uh oh. Oh, is Ray a hacker? Oh, still a location data. Oh, we gotta go in person and destroy this thing. Oh, I had a feeling that Terry Dynamics CEO was a bad guy. Former employer. Alright, no time to waste. I think we've already got it explained pretty well, so let's get right to it. DLC content. Okay, this level is a little bit harder than I was expecting. But then again, it is DLC content, which I guess is supposed to happen after the main game. Anyway, you'll come across all these robots which are already defeated and drained. So you only have to assume this thing, Ray, was the one who did it. Well, with that mask, she's wearing. It kind of does look like she's a predator as well. Yeah, and apparently she can block off communications. So, I haven't even made it to the end of this level so far, but you can tell this is going to be a problem. Because already this character shows up oh, twice in a battle. I guess she's like the mini boss of this this particular level. Twice now. It, again, it's more of a reaction battle when she teleports. She can do one of two things. She'll teleport behind you, no matter what you're doing. And she'll either dash into you like that across the ground, or she'll shoot a laser beam across the entire floor. Which is the only safe place is either in the air or behind her. As evidenced right there. Nice! That was the first time I've actually uh, beat her that quickly. But that's pretty much all she did. I think she did everything that she can attack you with that first battle. So of course we go to the underground and this is where things get a little bit more creepy. Which kind of makes me question some of the Cherry Dynamics stuff. Maybe we get these little wires that kind of act like little snakes. That's, that's not the creepy part. Oh gosh. That's the creepy part. You get these little skeleton looking zombie things coming out of the water. Yeah. And I gotta keep... Don't get hurt in this stage because there's really not a lot of health. I think they give you like one health and energy pickup and that's it. You, if you can't make it work, you're done. Dang it. Oh, these bats are annoying. Oh my goodness. If they lock onto you and they, they hit you, they just start sucking your life away and they won't let go until you like frantically mash buttons. It's, they, can, they can latch onto you at the worst of times. Thankfully, they don't go through doors, so that's good. Oh, ugh, get off me, that's... Thank you. That's exactly what I was talking about. They're still looking pretty creepy. And the way they crawl like that fast is really unnerving. What the heck is 
been on in this factory. And this is the second time you fight her. She's actually... <laughs> she's actually a little bit more harder than before. She has a couple extra new attacks. Let's see if she'll do them for us. I have to applaud the voice actor for making this particular dialogue work. Okay, oh gosh, here she goes. Ah! She'll teleport above and shoot into the water, which does a shockwave across the rest of the screen. Again, the safest place is behind her. And now she'll get above you and... Oh gosh, and she'll fire twice in a row. Turning to your direction. See, that was the best place to this. Oh gosh, just to hide behind her. That growl that she does, it, it doesn't harm you, so you can get through it just fine. Oh, gosh. Wow, two quick clears in a row. I'm not doing so hot, though. Probably not make it to the end of the stage yet again. Yeah, the one and only big energy that you can reach in this stage. Right there. So make it count. Oh, jeez. Stupid bats. I don't care about combos at this point. I just care about surviving. Oh, good. I was fast. Whatever. Okay, we're coming up on the part where I died last. I think... Yeah, I was right here. There's this dude in the water. That's okay. You gotta activate him. Go back. Ow! Get away, get away, get away, get away! Stupid bats! Gosh darn it. Oh great, and there's health that are totally out of my reach unless I use something, I'm sure. Oh, what do you do? No, 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 my game is locking up. Getting a little stuttering there. So yeah, this is super... Thank you, Patch. I totally needed that. Oh, is this it? Did I reach the end of the level? Yeah, I can tell how a lot of people think Ray is built after zero. Call this role, Beck is Mega Man, and... Yeah, Ray is zero, pretty much. Further cementing its Mega Man clone status. Oh, she's not giving me a choice, is she? Oh gosh, here's the boss, Rachel. Oh, I have no idea what she's going to do. I hope she's going to be just like the last two times. Ooh. Okay, she actually has a life bar now. Oh, that was a new attack where she dashes and claws at you. Oh, gosh, I'm doing terrible. Oh, gosh, she's, she's glowing purple. Okay. Whew. Ah, don't fake me out like that. No, I'm doing my actual recover. No. Oh. Stay away from me. Okay, I guess you don't want to be too far away from her when she's up in the air like that, but you don't want to be too close either. Ooh, jeez. She, ah, she's fast. Oh, yeah. That's a, oh, my gosh. She's tearing me apart. Literally. She hasn't done her her beam attacks through her mouth, so that's a, that's a blessing. Oh, what's she going to do? Oh, there's her beam attacks. Oh gosh, that hurts so very much. Ah! Oh jeez. Ah! No, 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 I'm gonna die. 
I don't have much commentary right now because I'm trying to figure her out. <gasps> oh, 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 yes! Wow! First try! Oh my goodness! Wow, she was a good fight. I don't know if she demonstrated all of her attacks, but dang, man. She was definitely tough, and her level was pretty tough, too. What is she, like a vampire? Mission clear. How'd I do? Probably terrible. Wow, amazingly I did a B on this level. I was expecting like a C or less. Not bad. My question is, why is Beck's uh, specs and stuff uh, on the monitors there? Why is he in the database of this old Cherry Dynamics facility, unless he was built here? Interesting. Okay, now, I do know one thing, that now that we have beaten her, that we now get to have her as a extra character. Bonus stages. Okay. So she's very physical, and you gotta get up and close and attack things, like Zero and his sword. Except now you have a time limit, because I guess her health is continually going down. Okay, so pretty much plays similar to Zero. Up close and personal. And now that we've beaten her, she is on a playable character. Awesome. And you can select her, I think, from every stage. I just don't know why she's grayed out at the moment. That's a mystery. But at least she's unlocked, however she gets unlocked, and wherever we use her. So now we're going to tackle on the actual final stages in the next video. Until then, everybody, see you later. This level was harder than I made it look. In fact, I expected a lot more outtakes. I got lucky. So the real only two outtakes I got were against her first, trying to figure out how she worked. And then, of course, this tough area towards the end of the level. That's about it. I got lucky. <laughs>